Well, we got lucky. Yesterday, uh, we started cutting the frame, and the contractor had stopped in, and we made the first few cuts. And once we got it cut, um, we made a decision to drop three sections as opposed to four. And we cut just before the truck, so if they drop, they dropped in front of the trucks and not on the trucks. Once we got the uh, lines cut and scored, uh, we went ahead and crimped the one corner because it would drop on the rail and it actually worked perfect. We had about maybe two inches of clearance from the car. Instead of landing on the rail, it landed in straddle the rail. So uh, we didn't do much in terms of prepping the trucks other than the bolsters. Uh, and then once we got the bolsters set up, we actually had a pretty good day and then we went ahead and took off. We learned of the car's location by a rail enthusiast that was in the area. He had said he had seen a car that was sitting in a field located on this property. Uh, we uh, submitted a request to take a look at the car uh, and Big Rivers was more than cooperative. They stopped out uh, and said that the car had been here for quite some time. Uh, it was used to haul a generator uh, over to a, a neighboring uh, facility, uh, another company that was here, and then after it was used, it was brought, spotted, and then uh, unfortunately derailed. And uh, it has basically been sitting here for about 40 years. I'm Jennifer Keach. I'm the Director of Communications and Community Relations for Big Rivers Electric. We are today at our Coleman Station, which is in Hallsville, Kentucky. Um, that is where the rail car is located, and Kentucky Steam is on site dismantling the car. Basically, it was abandoned. We cleared the way and um, laid gravel and um, moved the car so it could be more accessible. Rail has been extremely important to our energy business. In years past, lots of coal was delivered via rail. However, no coal has been delivered to our power facility since the late 1990s. But back in the heyday, there was about anywhere from 500,000 to 700,000 tons of coal delivered each year. Well, we at Big Rivers aim to be a good corporate citizen, and we feel like this is a very good fit for us. Um, anytime we can give back to a statewide organization, um, we are glad to. We wish them uh, lots of success. Any way they can promote infrastructure, the transportation infrastructure of our Commonwealth, I think that goes a long way to promote economic development opportunities. When you look at the history of this plant and the number of dedicated employees, uh, including those that have been here this afternoon, uh, you could tell that you know there are Kentuckians that have invested in this region and now they're making the investment in a different region. The impact that this plant carries on the western side of the, uh, of, of the state now carries to the eastern side of the state. So technically we'll carry every bit of their heritage with us. My name is David Payton. I'm with KCK Welding LLC out of Madisonville, Kentucky. Um, I got the invite to come down um, and do scrap metaling and basically what we have to do uh, we have to separate this in four pieces uh, to allow the trucks to be safe. Number one is the truck, so we, we uh, accomplished that. I think everybody's happy today. Kenson Farm, Steve Borman is going to be hauling the trucks. He's going to transport those over to New Haven, Kentucky for us. And uh, just just want to thank him for sure for getting me, uh, getting me out of a bind on trucking. Well, 2716 is a very modern locomotive and uh, it's steam locomotive standards. However, they did not put roller bearing uh, axles underneath the tender. So these trucks being donated to us and essentially plug and play, we're going to have to do some modifications to them, but not a whole lot. It's probably going to save us in the neighborhood of ninety to $100,000. Collaboration is the name of the game with our, our group and uh, we couldn't be doing this without the help of Big Rivers. Uh, and then, of course, the Kentucky Railway Museum. We've developed a long-standing uh, partnership with them. Obviously, 2716, the engine that we're restoring, belongs to Kentucky Railway Museum. It's one of their oldest and, and most valuable pieces. So our investment in, in a piece of railroad history and collaborating with the Kentucky Railway Museum is paramount.